Welcome back to Reese Smith Jr. Field where the Commodores lead the Blue Raiders 4-1 in the bottom of the fifth. And it looks like we're getting a new pitcher for the Commodores. It's gonna be number 27, Chandler Day. He's a right-hander at 6'4", 165, a freshman from Watkins Memorial High School, High School in Granville, Ohio. For the Raiders will be the nine hitter Vaughn Chapin and then the top of the lineup starting with Riley Delgado and Austin Dennis going number two and three. Jake Rose broadcasting in the Florida Murfreesboro Broadcast Center. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching online at GoBlueRaiders.com. Raiders looking for a big win as they face their Second straight opponent that's been in the top 20 after they dropped two of three against the Florida Atlantic Owls this past weekend. Look at the rebound here against number five, Vanderbilt. Chandler Day's last relief appearance came seven days ago against NIU where he pitched two innings, gave up one hit and one walk and a strikeout and no runs. Chandler Day, 6'4", 165. Careful that this uh, wind won't blow him out straight to center field. Big swing and a miss from Vaughn Shapin, the catcher, 0-1. Fastball in there from Day just misses one and one to Shapin. Shapin hidden to his fielder's choice back in the second to end things for the Raiders. One one from Day, foul tipped by Shapin, one and two. One two from Day is going to be a slider on the outside. Vaughn Shapin check swung. Doesn't matter. Called strike three by home plate umpire Jeff Wright. And that's the first strikeout for Chandler Day against the first batter he faces. That'll bring up Riley Delgado, the leadoff hitter. 0 for 2 today. Both outs have been pop outs to the center fielder, Reynolds. Chandler Day comes into this game with a 1.64 ERA, a win-loss record of 2-0. This is his fourth appearance. He's also started two games for the Commodores. 11 innings pitch, now 11 and a third. First pitcher, Riley Delgado, is going to be a chopper to the shortstop. Campbell, he collects in the hole and fires. Is it in time? No, infield single for Riley Delgado with one out in the bottom of the fifth. Delgado can really move down that first base line on a high chopping fastball like that. Campbell was going to really have to get it to it in time. He did. The throw just wasn't. Austin Dennis steps in, walked in the first, and had an infield single himself back in the third, a bunt single, his second in as many games. So a runner on first. Let's see how aggressive Delgado is as the Commodores are in double play depth. Third baseman Toffee playing at the grass. Big secondary lead from Delgado as that ball is called for strike one against Austin Dennis. The 0 1 swung on and lifted foul and over our heads here at the press box. 0 and 2 to Austin Dennis. Big stretch of games here for the Raiders, especially starting last week against Belmont, where they fell 9-4 here at Reese Smith Field. 
Dropped two of three against Florida Atlantic. They trail here four to one against Vanderbilt, but doesn't get any easier as that ball is going to be hit past the diving Toffee at third base. Delgado is going to go to second. And back-to-back -back singles for the Raiders have them in business with one out in the bottom of the fifth. And that'll bring up Brad Giroux. He hit into a fielder's choice back in the first and popped out to the right fielder, Kendall, to end things in the third. As I said, this stretch of games doesn't get any easier as the Raiders travel to Bowling Green, Kentucky to face Western Kentucky on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to make room for the Easter holiday on Sunday before traveling to Knoxville a week from today to take on Tennessee. Then that weekend, first weekend of April, the Raiders host the Rice Owls. 1-0 to Jarreau on the outside. That's the third different Owl team that the Raiders will have played this year. Traveled to Kennesaw State two weekends ago. They were the Owls. And Florida Atlantic that was just here this past weekend. Also the Owls. 1-0, Jarreau swing and a miss, 1-1. Jarreau had the big two-run home run in the second inning in game one of that series against the Owls of Florida Atlantic. He's got runners on first and second with one out. Big curveball from Day misses two and one. Jarreau wearing number three, bats right, throws right. Bit undersized for your typical center fielder, 5'9", 185 from Joelton, Tennessee. 2-1 from Day is going to be smacked down on the left field line and just foul, called foul by home plate umpire Jeff Wright. And an inch or two to the right, and that would have scored two runs and definitely would have been extra bases for Brad Jarrell. Jarreau from Pope John Paul, the second high school. Played 18 games as a freshman two seasons ago. Actually started 12 games when he hit 282, scored 11 runs, chalked up three doubles, and knocked in nine runs. He digs in against the freshman Chandler Day. 2-2 to Jarreau, big fastball on the outside, just misses, counts full to Jarreau, three and two. Back-to-back -back infield singles from Riley Delgado. An infield single from Riley Delgado and then single to left field from Austin Dennis as two on and one out to Jarreau. 3-2 from Day. Chop to the second baseman, Paul. He's going to get under. No, he can't handle it. And the bases are loaded for the Raiders. <laughs> Ethan Paul tried to tag Austin Dennis before he had full control of the ball. Popped out of his mitt, and that'll be the first error for the Commodores. And it proves costly as Aaron Auker digs in. And he hit a home run with the bases loaded on Friday night against the Florida Atlantic Owls. He's got the bases loaded here with one out. And the Raiders trail four to one. So a very, very costly error for the Commodores with one out in the bottom of the fifth. Talk to Aaron Ocker on Friday night after that big go ahead grand slam. He said it was a changeup, and he said that he knew the pitcher was going to throw a changeup thanks to great scouting from assistant coach, Coach Scott Hall. Let's see what the scouting report says about Chandler Day. Obviously can bring the heat. 
Bases loaded for the sophomore, Auker. Boy, one out, Raiders trail four to one. Wind really blowing out here at Reese Smith Jr. Field. Row on first after the air on Paul. Dennis on second, Auker on third. Rocker up the bat, excuse me, Delgado on third. First pitch gets away from the catcher, Ellison. Here comes Riley Delgado and the runners will move to second and third. The lead is now trimmed to four to two. So a wild pitch, Delgado from third. And the lead is cut in half. And a single could tie this game as both Giroux at second and Austin Dennis can really move. <laughs> 1-0 -oh count to Aaron Auker. Chandler from the stretch. He fires the 1-0, -oh, big swooping breaking ball, drilled into right field. This is gonna tie the game. Aaron Auker is gonna have extra bases. He's going for three. Aaron Auker with a one out, two RBI triple to tie this game up in the bottom of the fifth. The sophomore delivers again. And a beautiful piece of hitting from Aaron Auker to take that breaking ball the other way down the right field line to drive in Giroux and Dennis. And we're all knotted up at four here at Reese Smith Jr. Field. What a ball game. And Ellison went to go have a word with Chandler Day. And now the Raiders have seven hits and four runs. Kevin Dupree digs in. Hawker on third after the two RBI one out triple. Four to four, first pitch from Day is gonna come back to the press box and a young man barehanded right off the glass, just off the radio booth to our left. Gonna have to let him keep that one. 0 oh and 1 to Kevin Dupree. The Dupree's gonna hit one to the first baseman, throw home, is not gonna get it there. It's gonna get away from Ellison. Kevin Dupree is gonna take off for second, and the Raiders lead 5 to 4. Murphy, the first baseman, was a little bit too far off the bag as that ball was hit sharply. Thought he was going to be able to get Auker at home. Even if the throw was in time, it was going to take a great tag from Ellison. The throw got away from Ellison, and that'll be a throwing error on Murphy. And Dupree is on second, and the Raiders have a one-run lead. What an inning for the Raiders. Four runs have crossed the plate as they lead 5-4. to four. That'll bring up Blake Benefield. Freshman against freshman as he stands in against Chandler Day. And so far Chandler Day has just gone a third of an inning, given up three hits, three runs. Two of them have been earned. First pitch to Benefield, fastball, swing and miss. It gets away from Ellison. Dupree's gonna be able to take third standing up. So the rough inning for the freshman, Chandler Day continues. As the Raiders are 90 feet away from tacking on one more run here in the bottom of the fifth. The 0-1 to Benefield, big curveball in there for strike two, 0-2. And, and this crowd that was really pretty subdued through the first five innings has come to life here in the bottom of the fifth.
Corner infielders for the Commodores playing in towards the cutout of the infield. The 0-2 to Benefield. Swung on and missed. Breaking ball got him on the outside for out number two and strikeout number two for Chandler Day. That'll bring up Austin Norell. He drove in the Raiders' first run back in the fourth with an RBI ground out to the second baseman, Paul. He also struck out back in the second. Dupree on third. After reaching on an error, moved to second base after a poor throw from the first baseman, Murphy, as breaking ball is in there, 0-1. Advanced to third on a wild pitch from Chandler Day. Day from the stretch. Fires the 0-1. Misses on the outside, one and one. Two outs in the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss from Norell, one and two. Change up fooled him. The one, two. Just misses on the outside, count even. Two and two. Sullivan on deck, he's one for two today. Followed by Shapin. And Shapin started things off for the Raiders here in this bottom of the fifth. The two, two to Norell. Called strike three at a curveball in on the hands. But the Raiders score four on three hits and two errors. They lead the Commodores five to four. You're watching Middle Tennessee Baseball on the Blue Raider Network from Learfield. <laughs> 